Well, separately, a new site, the Palestine Chronicle, is claiming Facebook has warned it with restrictions and a total ban for continued, quote, community standards violations. After recently denying Palestine Chronicle editor Ramzi Baroud his admin status on the Palestine Chronicle Facebook page, other Palestine Chronicle editors have been notified that the page could be restricted or taken down entirely. Well, let's find out more now. There's Cross Live to the Chronicle's chief editor, Ramzi Baroud. Ramzi, many thanks for joining us on the program today. So could you explain to us what you think has prompted Facebook to warn you and your editors? What are the accusations here? The process that Facebook has been following uh, in, in the way that they are, they are restricting us from using our account um, kind of went through stages, you know, where they basically start with the shadow ban us, and then suddenly other things starting to happen. For example, the status of the of the administrators of the page, uh, who are the people, the team of the Palestine Chronicle, they start lowering your status from that of an administrator to a moderator. Uh, personally, I have lost four different pages. Now the same thing is happening with our managing editor of the English uh, page and um, the editor of the French website as well. The Palestine Chronicle is not the only target of the anti-Palestinian practices of Facebook. The popular Palestinian English and French publication, however, has been placed under relentless scrutiny by Facebook, Instagram and other social media platforms. Completely erasing our content, saying that we are violating their community standards. And what they are talking about is just your everyday news report about, uh, for example, the Lions Den in Nablus, a Palestinian fighters group in which we report like everybody else, like Israeli media, like the New York Times, like British media. We simply report on what has taken place. The fact that we are reporting on these things are now supposedly violating their community standards. So we are not able to, to do our work as journalists. In December 2021, an independent investigation launched by Human Rights Watch found that Facebook has wrongfully removed and suppressed content by Palestinians and their supporters. In addition to removing content based on its own policies, Facebook often does so at the behest of government. Indeed, there was an agreement that was signed by Facebook and Israel in 2016. Uh, following that agreement, where they agreed that they are going to control incitement and that sort of thing uh, 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 on Facebook. Following that agreement, Israel established the Cyber Unit, which basically provide a large number of Palestinian individuals and websites accounts to Facebook and others, Instagram and others. And these platforms start erasing these uh, pages, supposedly after verifying that they are inciting violence. At one point, I was personally removed from Twitter if it were not for the support of many uh, well-respected people on social media. It was eventually restored. Hopefully, this is going to remain the case with Twitter for, for a while. But with Instagram, with Facebook, even with LinkedIn, the censorship continues. Uh, and, and again, we are not the only victims of this. We are, you know, there are thousands of Palestinians. In fact, according to some estimates, the cyber, the Israeli cyber units have flagged over 20,000 Palestinian Facebook accounts that indeed many of them have been deleted by Facebook. So in other words, we Palestinians feel that Facebook, as far as Palestine is concerned, is now an Israeli organization through and through.